most non golf most fun non golf celebrity to hang out with remember i don't play golf anymore he's still in golf world don't count. yeah um okay, fine. non-golf i'm gonna go mj mm. Mm. yeah that's probably tough is, to argue is that, with. is that up there <laughs> yeah i feel like that's that's the trump card okay career against mj up or down money you okay. playing golf against MJ. You against MJ. On the golf course. Yep. Are you up or down? Lifetime. Um, I'm up. He's tough. Yes, that's only because I haven't played him much at Grove. Mm. Um, it's, it's basically called, the nickname for it is Slaughterhouse 23. Oh. <laughs> God, that's good. Yeah. That is that's good. That's really good. So, leading up to the Grove opening, which is a little over a year ago, We've only we've only played together there, uh, match wise, a couple times. Um, there's a few other courses where I feel like it's in my favor if I play well. Grove is just like if I don't play absolutely nice that day, I have no chance. Well, it's his golf course, so it's set up very well for him, right? Exactly. What makes that the case? What is it? Wide open or easier off the tee or what? Not necessarily. Um, it's almost the shorter you hit it, the wider it is. Perfect. Take me now. Hello, sweetheart. And so the the tees are the tees and pins are are done every day. So the golf course is basically set up around. They can play as long as you want, but they set the back tees at roughly you know seven to seventy one hundred. And MJ just plays the back tees wherever they set them, and they set it up kind of based on where the wind is that day. So it's I mean it's cool to have kind of that thought that goes into it. Um, it's not just like tees stay in the same spot or move one back and just throw the pin wherever. Like the par threes, if it's into the wind, they're going to move up. If it's downwind, they're going to move back. You know, the pin's not going to be front if it's down and different stuff like that. But it's it's a golf course where he can basically hit driver on all the par fours, par fives. And if I want to hit driver, I have to kind of put it into a little bit of a tighter spot. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can... If I, I mean, I can obviously play back if I want, because, but that becomes a little bit of a disadvantage, especially if it's a hole where he's getting a stroke on. He's great with wedges in his hands around the greens, bunker player. He'll putt anyone straight up. Like, you can't kind of if, – if I'm giving him a shot, I can't then yeah. play from the same spot he is when he's laying zero. I mean, it's – How many shots do you have to give him? Ten. Woo! Mm. He's, that's tough. Yeah. Well-designed course. By See, that's how much he respects me. I have to give him eight. Eight? Yeah. Probably down to six now. Well, I mean, it's tough. I mean, straight straight up. up. (laughs) I don't know. I'm not sure when the last time I broke 70, but, I mean, he can shoot anywhere from, I mean, I've seen him plenty of times shoot, you know, 71 to 74. Yeah. Um, That's a problem with 10. Very much. Given 10, that's an issue. Yeah. Yeah, But, I mean, he can, he, I mean, on the high end, he's going to shoot maybe, you know, low 80s. A lot of times he's shooting that 75 to 80 window, but at 10 shots, I mean, because yeah, some of those are, you know, a lost ball double or, you know, whatever it may be. If, if I'm, if he's shooting 77 and he's got a double in there, it's like, yeah, you're, you're, yeah. I got to shoot 65 to have, to, hang, to get to 18. To hang, yeah. Yep. That makes Love it that. tough. 